Hi guys, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. So I've been shopping today and I bought some craft organisation and I did mention it and one of my um, friends, my crafty friends, one of my subscribers, um, did ask if I would show the organisation bits and pieces that I bought. So I do quite like coming on and showing that sort of thing anyway. It's nice to update you guys on changes that are going on in my craft room. So once I've finished organising with all this stuff, I'll probably do another quick tour to show the changes that I've made in the room because there's a big upheaval going on at the moment. Now, um, I blame Caroline from Caroline's Craft Tree for this. I blame her for the upheaval and I blame her for some of my purchases today. Thanks, Caroline. <laughs> I was scrolling through my subscriptions on YouTube for trying to find something to watch the other evening and I come across a thumbnail that showed a rolling cart that had a whole lot of these in it. And the title was something to do with what I store in my rolling cart. And I thought, ooh, this looks intriguing. So I decided to watch it. Now, I didn't even finish the video before I was emptying all my mixed media stuff out of my rolling cart here and throwing it everywhere. And then pulling all of these out of their container that they're stored in. Yeah, <laughs> making a big mess everywhere. So now I've just got a massive mess in my room. So yeah, <laughs> so I'm going to link Caroline's video below. If you want to go and check it out, you can pick your jaw up off the floor like I had to. <laughs> but she had like, I think in America they call them, I think, Razcog carts or something. Over here, they're just, just three, they're your three-tiered storage carts I think we tend to call them and um, here in South Australia we can get them from Kama and Spotlight is where I get mine from. Now Spotlight can be a bit expensive with them so I looked online and Kmart had some and the price seemed really decent and they said they were large ones. Now I watched Caroline's video and she had, hers seemed extra large and I thought, oh, they get all the good stuff there. We don't get them like that here. And then I seen a large one advertised at Kmart. So, oh, I wonder if that's bigger than the little one that I have here. So I went and had a look and now it is huge. It's like almost double the size. <laughs> so that's great. But I did start putting all of these in there. Well, in my small one, because I didn't have the big one at the start. And... Then I remembered that just behind me, when I swivel around to my right, I have a DVD towers. And I thought, well, these would stand up pretty good in the DVD towers. So at the moment, so then, of course, I start chucking everything out of my DVD towers as well. Um, <laughs> so I have so much stuff everywhere. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. So I'm trying to figure out what's going to work for me, but I think I'm going to put them all in my DVD towers. So I'm putting a whole lot of ephemera into these and they're going in the DVD towers. And then I'm organising my mixed media stuff back into my small cart and then a whole lot of other embellishment stuff into my new big extra large wheelie cart. So here's a picture of my wheelie cart in its box. It's not very good quality. And then here's a picture of it put together. And then next to it, you can see my smaller one. So yeah, heaps bigger. You can stack heaps of stuff in it. And it fits quite nicely um, in this corner here. I can sort of turn it around and put it in front of my cupboards and that. And I can still get around and in and out of my craft room. So yes, it's going to be wonderful, I think. And a great help because then, you know, you can wheel them to you when you're working to grab stuff. So now, the other things I got, blame Caroline for these, is I looked at getting more of these. Now, she has, I don't know how many of these she has to fill up her big cart. Chock-a-block it is. But, um, so she's taken them all out of the clear containers that they come in. Now, that's great too, because then you can, like two for one with the containers, you can use the clear containers to store other stuff in and then have these separate. So what she's done is stored them all like colour coded, all the red ones together, all the yellow ones together and that, which I don't think I'll quite do because I tend to like 
colour theming things like flowers in pink and people and stuff in yellow. So at the moment I'm doing it like that. So I looked up at Spotlight because I know that the containers can be pretty expensive. But I looked on Spotlight and they've actually got them on sale at the moment. So that sealed the deal. So I got, I had these big ones. Now these have, does it say on there or do I have to count them? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought it was eight. So it's 16 of these sort of photo containers in one of these. Um, they're usually 30 odd dollars and it had them for 20 something, which is really good for these. So I grabbed two. <laughs> Why not? I thought at that price, grab them while they're cheap like that. So, and I already had two and then a bit of a smaller one from Kmart. But I looked at the ones in Kmart and it was going to be more expensive to get them. So I've got these bigger ones instead. So I've got two of these. So that's given me heaps of them. So I should have plenty now to expand. Um, and then they have these ones as well. They have a few different ones, but these are the ones I'm going with. Now these are like, these have six in them, but they're bigger photo boxes so so I grabbed two of them as well now they're usually 15 or 16 dollars and they were down to about 10 or 11 so yeah I thought I'll grab two two of each and yeah I'll definitely be able to organize everything with those so while I was out and about I also headed off to Kmart because I wanted to look get their fabric glue and some contact but they were all sold out it's amazing how empty shelves are around the place now it's getting near Christmas. I hit one of the op shops too and I think it's the first time in forever that I walked out without getting anything because there was nothing there which was amazing so didn't even bother going to another one. Um, so I grabbed two of these at Kmart. These are your narrow fridge organizers with handles. These are great because you can fit your 12 by 12s in them and they fit into your Calyx units as well. So I do have some 12 by 12 storage. They're like magazine holders, but they're for 12 by 12s. And I think I got them from Craft Online or something and they're really flimsy and horrible things. So I much prefer to store them in these. Nice and sturdy and because they've got the handles, they're easy to pull out. And just lift the whole lot out to look at your papers. So I thought I'd grab another two of them and then I can finish organising my scrapbook papers. And then I spied these. These are a lot like the handy um, containers that I have here and I have my dies and that in the grey ones that I have um, picked up from Bunnings, I think. I won't be surprised if these are a bit cheaper though. So I can't remember how much I paid for these. But these also on wheels. They've got wheels just at the back. So I think they might be good to be able to just pull out. Like lift up with the handle and just pull forward. So I'm going to see how they work. And I'm pretty sure by the looks of things you can just... I think you can lift it. Yeah, yeah. You can um, pull out the sections and move them along. If you want. So they're adjustable. And then try and get them back in again without breaking anything. Oh yeah, I think I did it. Oops, now this side's out. <laughs> I find this sort of thing really handy for um, cards and I've got a lot of, yeah, cards, postcards, the dies, stamps, all that sort of thing. So I thought I'd grab another two of those to help me in here as well. When I first started crafting, I stored everything in cardboard boxes and that, and I was quite happy with that. It worked well enough, but um, uh, things got dusty and the bugs get into it and everything. So when I decided that I was sort of pretty serious about doing this for the rest of my life, I didn't don't mind so much investing in um, decent storage for things. So and I have fun with it. So now I'm going to have fun going through all my stuff and trying to figure out what to put where and clean up the big mess that I made after watching Caroline's video. 
<laughs> and sort out all my ephemera into all these boxes. So there'll be another video sometime in the next year or something to show you how I've filled up my carts now. Yeah, I'll be changing heaps around. So as I said, I'll probably do a, another little quick tour of my room just to show you some of the changes that I've made. So take care of yourselves, be good, and I will see you again soon. Bye.